Hello, my beautifuls. Elsie here to do uh, a collective reading for you. Let's figure it out. Let's figure out what energies are here for the collective. What does that mean, Elsie? Well, I'm telling you that you need to put on your intuitive hat. <laughs> I will call it the signs as they, <coughs> excuse me, as I need to and as they come up. So you know what's going on in the story in terms of whether you need to keep track of energies or not. Give it my best shot. Here we go for the collective. What overall energy is for the collective, please? Overall energy for the collective, please. Go. What do we got here? Building blocks. Somebody's building something. Building of the self for a brand new start. We've got violet, we've got pink, that's the third eye, and the crown chakra. Somebody's getting information from the universe. Very grounded information. Something that's keeping you feeling quite stable about whatever is coming up. Something's being built, and I'm not, I'm, I'm unsure whether it's you or not. <laughs> like, I feel like somebody is putting themselves together or getting things in order. We've got 28, which is a 10. It feels like something new is about to begin here. Building blocks. Oh, okay. Sorry, I've been told that it's not this deck. It is. This deck. There we go. All right. Building blocks. What are we building? What are we building? What's the collective building? Okay. Could be building gratitude. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I say it every day. Another thing I also say every day, as I'm washing my face in the morning and at night, I always say, be gentle with yourself, Elsie. Be really gentle with you. It's okay. You don't have to be so hard on you. Everyone else is hard on you. So it says, I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities presents, right? And I'm totally grateful for that. I hope you are too. All right. We have peace. Oh, I love it. All right. We've got, uh, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Look at that. We're building blocks because we are healing, I believe. Putting ourselves together, building ourselves block by block by block. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. You're letting it go. You know what though? Oh yes, yeah. Charlie said it's someone who's turning pain into triumph. It feels like somebody who's taken all of this. It's like it feels like people have come at them with all of this. And somebody's standing at the top of the hill. Yeah, that's fine. You want to throw it at me? I'll catch it. But I'm going to turn my pain into triumph. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get one more card. We're going to go with the Priestess of Light Oracle. What else can you tell me about this connection, please, or about this uh, this reading, please? About for the collective, what else can you tell us about the collective? Miracles. I don't know. And harvest, actually. <laughs> Gathering of blessings and miracles, ancient wisdom. We're just going to take them both because those would be crazy to give back, right? crazy to give back so card number 44 is harvest gathering of blessings and then we have miracles so we have someone who has brought themselves to peace i believe you're releasing negative energy i feel like you're turning your pain into power um sorry charlie's giving me a song uh, for those of you who don't know charlie's my main angel and he always uh, comes up he always comes to the readings um What is this? Um, I'm 
sorry it's so quiet y'all <laughs> i don't usually i don't usually have this much coming through on one it's a lot it's a lot so let me just start at the beginning so we have someone who's building themselves it's a damn miracle that you're doing it i'm just saying if that's you you're the person who's been in fixed energy or is feeling fixed like you couldn't make up your mind i feel like it during the full moon I feel like that is when you began the harvest. That's what I feel. I feel as though you um, have been having downloads from ancestors and it's what's building you to hear. You release your release of negative energy. What is the song? I'm hearing it again. Hang on a second. Sorry, guys. The song is Inner Ninja <laughs> by Classified. That's what it is. But I'm listening to what part of the song he's giving me. No one's going to see me come and no one's going to hear a sound. Because they don't know that I've got my inner ninja. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. It's like nobody expected it would be you that you would be the one that would change your mind and you've changed your mind and you've unlocked this ancient wisdom from your ancestors who are waiting to bless you i feel we have card number 44 and it's all because you decided oh my gosh i can't even you decided to build the self right four and four is eight which is the self you decided to build the self Oh, really beautiful whoever you are thank you for that beautiful 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 energy it deserves three beautifuls okay Whew. barely just got through the oracles <laughs> gotta be careful what i ask for <laughs> these collective readings are pretty heavy in the energy i'm just saying so much okay so i feel that um somebody here has over the full moon has experienced something or an energy that has made them focus on the self i feel like you've had a lot of ancient wisdom come at you um it says miracles and i do believe it is from yeah it's it's the ancestors i feel who are checking in with you Ooh, it almost fell there we go Take that one, take that one, take that one, put the rest back. All right. You go from beating yourself up or being in battle with yourself or embattled. Yeah, you feel like it feels like you were battling yourself. What was this battle about? The gathering of blessings somebody had an awakening that's what it was the battle was about the the inner battle was about the 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 harvest yeah and and using your building blocks it feels like somebody who's had some sort of a a self-realization now is going to have their ships come in because they learned how to change their mind the Hierophant is, is Taurus. The Hierophant is also, you know, Taurus is fixed energy, right? And therefore, really moving very slow and really hard, hard-pressed to change your mind. You can do it, but it's going to take a long damn time. Yeah. So the energies we have here are fixed energies. We've got Taurus, uh, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Yeah, it's the downloads. It's the negative energy that you release that brought in the ancient wisdom. It's from working on the self. Because I feel like you go from an energy of um, being in battle with yourself to this energy of being quite organized and being able to organize your feelings and your thoughts and your passions. That you're going over it slowly so you can make some sort of decision regarding what you think is coming in, like ships coming in here. 
You know what I think is the ships that are coming in? As I look at this, I feel like the ship that is coming in is that you have changed your mind. I think that's the blessing. I think that you may have gone from a very rigid way of thinking, building blocks, that you may have gone from a very rigid way of thinking to a very non-traditional way of thinking. But what I want to say, Collective, is if if you are one of the fixed energies, that this was a feat, a feat that was, how can I say, that was astronomical. <laughs> Because it really is tough. Like those of the those of you who don't live in the fixed energies, it really is, it is really tough to change your mind. So what I think is going on here is that there is somebody who has changed their mind not only about, you know, I've decided that maybe I'm not religious, I'm going to be spiritual, or maybe, you know, Mormonism's not for me, maybe it's Catholicism. Somebody has has learned that um, that they can change their mind and therefore I feel makes you more open to um, non-traditional ideas. I feel like that's the ship that's coming in for you right now, that you learn to be kinder to yourself that you learn to speak to yourself, five and three is eight, communication, you learn to speak to yourself in a way that's far more flexible and more kind than it ever was. And I'm telling you, that's the place to start because it's going to change your life. Yeah. What have we got here? We've got a temperance in the reverse. Oh. Do I just have this deck? I'm just holding the deck upside down. <laughs> okay, here we go. Temperance. There we go. Uh, nonetheless, it 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 feels to me like somebody is doing a really good job of working on the self. And it feels beautiful, like glorious kind of beautiful. I think you're entertaining um, going on a new adventure. But you haven't quite made the decision to do that yet. You're waiting for these ships to come in. I'm just going to say, I think your ships are here. I'm sorry, it's not about the love of your life. But really, the love of your life should be you, right? The inner self, the spiritual self. Yeah. So I feel like the ships have already come in. And I think because the ships have come in, that you are now entertaining, making a decision to move forward... And possibly now you can, now you're strong enough that you can entertain the thought of closing some sort of major chapter here. That's what the world card is, right? It's the, the success of closing a chapter. When it's in the world, when the world is in the reverse, it's unfinished business. It's things I got to take care of. Things I got to take care of so I can live completely free. I do see the Hierophant in reverse as that. Not feeling, you know, tied down to any one ideal. I feel like that's sort of the the transformation I went through myself as someone who was um, always usually religious and then found spirituality. The transition was tough. Feeling free and be able to have free ideas and think whatever you want instead of having to be stuck to a doctrine was something that was very, very new. Yeah, and it feels that's what it feels like is happening here. Someone opens themselves to possibilities that now that I have my own set of doctrine, I, I know what I want to do. Um, for me, I feel like somebody goes from feeling bad about that to feeling good about that. And then we start making decisions that are going to start changing our future. Because it's the butterfly effect. Whatever you do now is automatically affecting your future. All right. We have the Seven of Cups. The Lovers. And the Magician. Hmm. You have the tools because somebody shared something with you. I want to say because I, right you go from fighting the self to I think being someone who's very organized in their in the way that they think about the universe it's almost like you go from being like really fighting yourself about gaining freedom and there's the freedom and it brings you a lot of peace 
So I feel like your manifestations, it almost feels like, well, the lovers is here. And what I want to say that I think it's someone that loves you very much that inspired you to do this. So whether that person is here on the earth or whether they have crossed over already, that there is somebody who, who, um, who is, who very much loves you. Or for some of you, it could be someone who is one, you know, someone who is intended for you. We have the Seven of Cups and it feels like somebody's manifestations about love brought lots of emotional opportunity or lots of opportunities in which to be emotional. Because when you say, please, God, give me strength, right? When you say that, what are you going to get? You're going to get lessons that are going to teach you how to be strong. You're not just going to get pixie dust that makes you the Hulk, right? <laughs> right? So what are we manifesting here? Because I think it's the manifestation of, of you know, I have, to, I have to ground myself here. I am I'm the best at what I do. I'm very good with the details. I have all the tools that I need. There we go. Taking control of the whole thing. So, yeah, you're you're manifesting um, having control of your life so you can be free. And I think it starts with freeing the mind. And I feel that the, the gathering of the blessings happened probably when you decided that you were going to make a change um, around the full moon energy. I feel like you were given that blessing. The harvest of blessings is here in, in miracles. Miracles that I think that someone who is very, very hard on themselves, um, maybe believing the things that other people told them about who they were supposed to be, has finally woken up and realized that they're in control of it all. Someone has self-awareness now. I'm in control of it all. I can organize anything that I want to. Nonetheless, money. I feel like whatever it is that you learn is something that is going to possibly pay out in pentacles somewhere down the line. It might even pay out as 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 love because we do have the lovers here as well. Although I feel like with the lovers and the magician that you're just you're manifesting love, but I feel like it's just too it's it's a lot, right? You you're overwhelmed emotionally because you've been through a lot already. Yeah. So although I don't think that you've made a decision to leave the shore yet, I feel like that you are someone who is now feeling as though you can you have the freedom to make some pretty big time decisions that are coming up here for you. Because it feels like you've been um, maybe ignoring it or holding it off or there's unfinished business. You know it's going to take a big surge or a push to get this world to close. So I feel like you've not been not had your eye on it. It's something pretty important. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands. I've got the, um, the Fool and the Moon. All right. So I think you do jump off the edge. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to. And you know what? I don't think that it bothers you so much that the Moon energy is here. It's almost like when I look at the Fool, the Fool is like, yep, I'm just going to do it. I don't care. I don't care if it's dark. I gotta go. Yeah. I, 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 this person's waiting for their ships to come in. And I feel like that's the reason why they've not made a decision. Is because they're waiting for it. Uh, it feels like here that you're not supposed to wait for it. Like, don't wait for it. Go ahead and wait for it, right? But just don't wait forever. Because you're going to miss this new opening. And look at that. The Four of Wands is stuffed in the middle of there. You know, maybe things you don't see coming are going to be pretty freaking great if you decide to stop waiting for the ships to come in and 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 uh, just step off the edge on your own, right? Tell me this. What's going on here? You know what? I'm just putting this down because they've gotten all confused. Here we go. <laughs> all right, tell me about the world card and the Hierophant, please. Because now maybe you were in a place where you were stuck and felt like you couldn't change your mind and therefore could not change your circumstances. And now I feel like you're changing your mind and your circumstances. There we go. The lovers has come out again. So you're changing your, your circumstances, um, getting ready to close some sort of a chapter. 
um, make a decision to do that. A passionate decision to go on an adventure. The world's the world's out there for me, and I need to see it because I think that my greatest love is out there. The lovers showed up again, right? So somebody has decided that they're they're going to be free enough to love again. Uh, we've got the six of wands in the reverse. So someone looking for home. I see the six, the, the six of wands in reverse as, yeah, maybe there's no victory for now, but understand, you know, there's a long way to go yet, right? We go to the seven, the eight, the nine. There's, there's lots of adventures to be had here. I think that eventually victory does come around, but I feel like somebody wants to be victorious right now. And They've waited too long is what I feel. Yeah, you've waited too long to have the victory. You want victory now. It's been forever. You've been waiting. But understand, you always had the ability to be the emperor and take control of the whole situation. And when you do, I think that's what brings out the fool, right? We're right in, the, in this energy, in this moment right now. Some of you have been waiting for something for a while. And others of you have been saying, should I? Should I do it? Should I make the decision? I think that what this is telling you is that the fool is here. So if you want that opportunity in that foundational relationship that you're looking at, it's going to work for you. But the moon is here too, which means there's lots of surprises. I just looked at the timer and it's 2121. So um, there is a... Um, there's a lot of what ifs going on here and you don't know what's coming up, but I feel like you're supposed to be okay with not knowing. We can't know everything. What would be the point of knowing it all? Let's close again. What is about to close? Tell me about the world in reverse. It's about to be some sort of success and a karmic, some sort of a karma. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Emphasis in reverse. <clears throat> someone was in love with the Empress in reverse. Uh, the Empress in reverse is someone who doesn't necessarily love herself. Um, she is someone who paints the outside, the hair, the nails, the face, the, you know, wears the best clothes. She'll paint herself on the outside, hoping no one, no one notices what's going on on the inside. So I feel like what's going on here is there is a chapter closing because someone is, um, was in love with the Empress in reverse. This is also someone who is kind of self-centered. They're not really connecting to their source. They're not connecting to their gut. There's nine of cups is in the reverse here. So somebody here realized that this is not their wish fulfillment and that's why they're moving on. Tell me about the Hierophant. Because we have a somebody who used to be very traditional and stuck in their thinking. Someone now has changed their mind and they decided that they're going to be someone who is... Um, less traditional, less less uh, stuck in their ways, um, someone who demands people follow uh, for threat of, you know, something bad happening, that kind of thing. I feel like um, the changing has completely, completely shifted. And I think it completely shifted because there was some sort of a disappointment here. It's like somebody made a, dis a disappointing decision back here somewhere. And I feel like it... It snowballs here and it causes you to have a huge change in how you think. Got the nine of swords in the reverse. I can't write that stuff, y'all. <laughs> nine of swords in reverse, right? We're no longer worrying about it. I'm no longer going to let it disrupt my life and give me anxiety or make me feel the certain way in my chest. I'm not going to let it happen anymore. Somebody is really taking control of their life, and it's really beautiful, and I hope it's you. Because in the present moment here, I feel like you're going to get an opportunity to be able to make some sort of a foundational choice, and you don't know what's on the other side. But you know what I think is on the other side? This, the lovers on the other side of the moon, right? There's somebody here who's looking for home. This person, you know, when it's this way, it's more like, um, when it's in the upright, it's more like, you know, I'm coming home after having fought the war. But this person doesn't know where home is. They're looking for home. And that's why they're on the adventure. Yeah. 
All right. Well, I hope that meant something to someone. I'm going to go for now. I love you guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Love you. Have a good night. Bye.